Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I've still got the festive lights on, um, but I am trying to make some quick dinner for the kids, for us. Um, and I am making something healthy and with some vegetables because we just feel like we need that right now because it has been so much festive food that this is going to give our tummy some rest and give us some nice nutrition. This happens to be a vegan recipe and absolutely delicious. So let's get cooking. Before that, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button um, so you get a notification every time I share the new recipe. So I'm just going to thinly slice two medium sized onions first and in a pan get two to three tablespoon of oil. So going to start with a teaspoon of cumin seeds. Look, it's really nice and hot and a teaspoon of black mustard seeds and let them really nicely sizzle before I add the thinly sliced onions. I'm going to cook this. Um, for a good 10 minutes you can hear my kids screaming in the background so please excuse that it's school holidays um, just cook for 8-10 minutes until uh, kind of nicely golden not too deep golden though while that is cooking I am going to peel and grate two garlic cloves and a piece of ginger so the un uh, ginger and garlic are grated I'm going to roughly chop a couple of tomatoes four kind of smallish red potatoes and then I've got a really not a massive one but a small cauliflower I'm going to chop that up and I've got a bunch of cavallo nero this is all this is locally grown and this is in season right now so I got a bunch of this and I'm going to chop so I'm going to chop all of this up while the onions are cooking so in goes the ginger and garlic and a couple more minutes of cooking And next I add in the couple of tomatoes, give it uh, three to four minutes to soften up. Next I add in the cauliflower. And next the four potatoes, smallish potatoes. Now it's time for the spices. So a good uh, teaspoon of salt a teaspoon of chili powder. I'm using two heaped teaspoons of ground coriander and a nice teaspoon of my homemade mum's uh, garam masala. A teaspoon of turmeric and a teaspoon of amjur powder or dried mango powder. And I'm going to turn the heat to high and just cook this for uh, a minute or two on high heat first and in that two minutes I'm going to quickly chop up the um, cavallo nero and now we add in all the look at that greens You could just use curly kale or some other form of kale. Um, if you can't find this, you can also um, use spinach. But if you're using spinach, don't add it at this stage. Add it once the cauliflower and the potatoes are cooked. This will wilt down. Um, it'll just take a t Oops. Right, my camera just went, but it's fixed now. So this will wilt down. It just needs a little bit of time. I'm going to add literally not much, please. Just two tablespoons of water on this. Literally one and two. If you add too much, it'll. you don't need too much. Just a couple of tablespoons to help wilt it down. And now cover and cook this on low heat for uh, 15 minutes so it's been exactly 15 minutes my timer has just gone off I just want to make sure everything has cooked so wow that looks so damn good right first potatoes are they done let's check here oh perfectly done 
is the cauliflower the, oh yes falling apart and the um the cavello nero which is also kind of wilted down and cooked this is looking absolutely stunning it's time to plate this up right and really nothing more to this recipe absolutely gorgeous it looks it you know it just everyone over indulges over the festive period whether it's for a day or 10 <laughs> and it's quite nice to break that up with some delicious healthy vegetarian food uh, which happens to be vegan as well and that looks stunning uh, often uh, people ask me in the comments or they'll message me and say what you're going to eat with this so today i've made a pot full of rice just nice fresh rice to go with it um, and i've got a really uh, light dal in the fridge which i made yesterday so i'm just going to reheat it if you want to make some nice lentils uh, which are also called dal um, they there are so many dal recipes on my channel you can find them and i'm also going to serve some papad which in the uk are called papadums uh, with this all of this so the whole combination is really lovely when you eat this mm, i really can't tell you how excited i am to have some vegetables really nice tonight just really hot don't 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 be worried for me i'll be fine i'll survive basic spices if you don't have amchur powder we can squeeze some lemon juice on top after it's cooked mm. Mm. What's not to like? Vegetables, basic spices, cooked to perfection. Mm. Hope you will give this a go. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any left, you can put it in wraps, which will be really, really nice. And if you're not vegan, you can serve this with a drizzle of yogurt on top as well. I'll see you guys very soon with another new recipe. Till then, bye.